Hi guys. Hi guys. I sorry, had to go get the sheep in. I'll take a few minutes, finish up what we're doing here, and I'll post both of them. So thank you for being patient with me. I do work I do live on a working farm and it's just me. So when shit goes sideways, I gotta stop and go do it. And I didn't want to leave you just um staring at the rug. So all right, we'll get this finished. And my gloves are now gross, so it. I don't need your help. So once you get this all saturated like it is now, make sure you, like I said before, make sure you get the edges good. Then we will just keep going around in circles. And then once we get it to where I think that it's um, to a point we can move it, we will turn it over and do this to the other side to get everything felted good. All right, come on. Now you're going to quit working. Oh. Okay, we'll just, you're going to sit over there and blow water. And just go around in circles, making sure you get the edges good. Once it's done, you can trim it and then refelt the edges to get a nice smooth edge because if there's some places that it, it won't, it'll won't be square around. And we will, I will show you how to do that once we get to that point. And this is, this is the extent of felting. I have a little section here. I don't know if you can see it, but the wool. So I'm just going to shove it down. And this is, if you can do it without being messy, you are better than me. I always end up wet. Don't take off. Leave her alone. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, the, I have a couple sheep that are very, hey, hey, no, don't chase the cat, are very smart. And they have discovered now that the pasture is getting kind of low, that they can go underneath some spots in the field fence. And so it's old, it needs to be restrung. I'm going to replace all along my driveway, which is like 680 feet of driveway. I have fence on both sides. I'm going to replace it all with the, the 16 foot welded wire panels because uh, one, it looks nicer and they can't bend it too easy like they do field fence. And um, the other is that it looks nicer. <laughs> And it's not as hard for me to do by myself. I can just go buy the panels, set them up to the T-posts, tie them up, and it's done. And this is, this is what's, what, what we have for wet felting. You just keep... Now, another thing I do, and I didn't bring one out here with me, there's tools you can get, but I also have a handheld vi uh, vibrating sander that what I do is I put it in a plastic bag and then I, I have a pad I put onto the, hold on, I can't, I have to look and see what you said. Uh, oh, the Afghan ones? Well, I, I, I sell my crocheted stuff like that, but, um, oh, let me see what it says. It's, was it Jamie that asked about it or Kimberly? Kimber. Um, I'm kind of slow. <laughs> the last one I did, like the green one. So Kimber asked if I sell my blankets. And the problem is, yes, I would. And like if you wanted a smaller one, I could do that for you. It's just that that is will fit a uh, double or queen size bed. I think queen size. And it takes a while. Okay, hold on. I got to see if I can cancel this timer. All right, there it goes. And Jamie...
oh, Jamie, I'm not, I'm not, not at all. You guys all say that. And you could do it. It has nothing to do with who I am or how I just, it's just me. I'm just alone, so I have to do it. Don't have a choice. And so, let's see, you can kind of see where this is starting to fold up. And what I do is I just kind of shove it down and it'll felt. And what it'll kind of do is kind of give you an edge for your rug, I think. Because remember, <laughs> we're doing this together for the first time. This, I've never, I've never wet felted it like this. So you just keep... Doing this. Now, I'm going to guess I'm probably not to the spot where I can turn it. But I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to go ahead and roll it up and turn it so we can do the other side. Just so you can kind of get an idea. Okay, so soft felted means when you see how it kind of... It's almost there. You see how it's picking up the whole... Oh, can you see? See how when I pull on it, it's pull, picking up more of the fiber there? Like that. So once you're getting to where you pull it like that and you're getting a big section of wool then it's soft felted and you can move it but it, it's pretty close so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to attempt to turn this over <laughs> it might not work it might be a total failure <sighs> but you guys say that's what you want to see I mean I know you don't want to see me fail but you want to see you don't want to see everything pretty which is really hard for me because I'm kind of a perfectionist I don't like I don't like to fail so all right so we're going to just kind of roll this up like this and then we're just gonna whew, kind of flop it back down and like I said I've not done it this way before so it's a learning process for me too and of course, I screwed it up. And you can see how it's holding together. You could, that, that's one way how you can tell. It's, it, it's getting to the point where it won't fall apart. So we'll just straighten it all up. Throw some more water on it. And just keep... Doing this, this is what takes so long, is that you have to keep going round and round and round and round, one way, then the other, to make sure all the fibers are caught. And like I said, this, is, this, is, this isn't thick enough to be a um, rug. This is going to come out being like a piece of fabric. But for what I'm showing you and what we're seeing, if it'll work, it's good enough. And... Lots of times what I'll do is after I get the, this part all, the center part done, I'll fold this over like this and work on the edges, which you can see. Now, I'm having a little bit of a problem. I don't know what you can see. So please forgive me if you're, if we're, if you're not getting to see everything. We'll get, I'll get better at these videos. But this is how it, how it works. You just keep rubbing and rubbing. And then I will go around to the next side, fold it forward. And I got a little bit of more soap than I normally use, but that's okay. And see, I'm going to show you a, a, a section here that I'm going to have to see if you can see it. Uh, you see this right here? So that's, that's not what we want. So we're going to try folding down and get those two sections to maybe go together. It doesn't always work. So, like I said, we'll be doing some trimming to it and fixing edges. And I'll show you how to do that later on. And you fold it back. And it's going to be thin in places because, like I said, it's not quite enough wool, but I wanted you to get the idea of how we do this and you just keep agitating the, the wool against the, the tool and lots of people come up I've seen where someone took a, a piece of two by four cut a bunch of grooves in it 
um, sanded it down so there was no sharp edges, and then used that as an agitator. And the the sander works the best, honestly. It just knocks these it out so fast that that's how I do my big uh, cruelty-free. Um, I'll think of it. Sheepskin is the same way I'm doing this, but I take the, I'll show you how to do that later on. I take a sheepskin that's kind of felted, lay wool over the top of it, and then just do the same thing. So once I get this to a point, like it's almost at, I use a pool noodle and the bubble wrap stuff I told you about. And if I had thought about it, I'd have brought it out to show you, but I forgot. So the next one I will, maybe I'll just do a regular video of it and see post, see how long it takes me to post it. And you can see, well, basically what I do is I put the pool noodle down. I, I lay the, the bubble wrap down. I put the pool noodle on top of the bubble wrap and then I lay this down and we roll it all together in a big roll. And then I tie it off. I usually use old, old t-shirts and I tie it up. And then I just, it's, so it's all kind of rolled up like this with a pool noodle in between. And then I just roll it back and forth like this, back and forth. Cause it's on a pool noodle, it, it rolls. And I do that for scarves and it doesn't take long at all. Pretty soon I have a, a felted scarf and it just goes over and over and I roll it back and forth and roll it back and forth. And uh, <laughs> I kind of cheat. I do it while I'm watching TV, and then I just roll it with my feet. And I have made a mess of this, but it gives you an idea of how this goes. So I will continue this, get it all done, rinsed out, cleaned up, and then I will... I'll, I'll probably show some of that, but basically I'm just doing the same thing. I'll fill it in water, roll it up, agitate it, agitate it, agitate it. And then when it's all done, I take, rinse it all up, scrunch it like this. So I'm getting everything nice and tight, then lay it out and let it dry. And you have a piece of felted fabric. This, my goal is to make, do this, get it to this point, like on five or six nice rugs. I have a, a bigger pool to do it on too and then put it away and do it in the summer or do it in the winter time finishing them up so that i can sell them at uh, arts and crafts fairs and online and um you can add different colors i just did white because it's easy and the next one i do i'm going to add some of my locks from my um cheap and i might try needle felting that in so it'll have the locks hanging over it or add, a, add an edge of it i'm not sure but that gives you the idea of how it's done. And I think we're about to get rained out. So we're going to call this one good. Sorry about the sheep getting out and having to stop in the middle of the next, the last one. But I'm going to get my stuff inside before it rains. Feel free, once this is posted, to ask any questions. I will most certainly get right back to you on how to do it. Um, I will... Once I, if this works out and it, it, I like how it does, I will um, give you guys first option if anyone's interested in buying them. Um, I try to keep my stuff cheap so everybody can afford it. Okay, guys, I'm going to go get some lunch, take a break, murder some sheep. <clears throat> Not really. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys, for me. Sorry, Dougal wanted to say hi. <laughs> so we will see you guys later.